Hey guys, what's up? Alec back with the daily stock market and very interesting day in the stock market today. What can I say? Shopify up 17% today, but the real talk of the town is Amazon, which was down 20% after hours, 30 minutes after the close. Now it has recovered. It's down 13% after hours, which is still a huge downward movement. So let's dive into it. Talk about Amazon. What's going on? And if it was an overreaction, we also have a bunch of students in the close friends list who made thousands of dollars just on one trade. And needless to say, it was a brilliant morning. We had some students up as much as 900%, turning $80 into $800. Absolutely amazing. We have other students up over 400% gains, $2,500. Huge success huge day meta puts you can see all of these are on meta puts and they were taken out very recently most of them were taken out just yesterday okay now we see another one wow good call on that put up 342 percent two thousand dollars another one up to 278 percent twenty five hundred dollars meta put for the win and the list just goes on and on and on here's another one up seventeen hundred dollars 200% gains. So make sure you DM me on my only stock market Instagram, the daily stock market, now 181 followers. DM me if you want to join the family, join the close friends list and see get access to all my trades, my buys and sells and everything in between. So let's jump in and see what's going on with Amazon. So as we scroll down, we can see that I'm down a little bit. My average cost is $103. So I have a pretty good average cost. I also have 12 shares of Amazon. So I want to be adding a lot more shares for swing trading purposes and also long term trading. Amazon is mainly going to shine right now for long term. And as Amazon inches lower to a five year low, which would be closer to around $80. I don't think it'll go to 45 or anything like that, but I d definitely think that it's a possibility to see Amazon around 75 to $80, $85 per share once again. So that's where I have a lot of price targets personally. If we scroll down, we can see that the market cap on Amazon is 1.1 trillion. So remember at one point they were a $2 trillion company and I think they will touch $2 trillion once again. So if you're a long-term holder like myself, in my personal opinion, I definitely think that Amazon is capable of 20% stock growth year over year for the next five years compounding annual growth rate, okay? So around 100% gain on the stock price is my prediction in the next five years, okay? Now, if we pull out to the P.E. ratio, we can also see that they have a 103 P.E. ratio, implying that they are a little bit overvalued. And we're also going to talk about meta platforms or Facebook in this video also because they're down 25% just on the day under $100 per share. And obviously, they're at the lowest point they've been in the last five years. You know, even when the world was ending and the pandemic was going on, Facebook was only $150 per share. And the lowest it's ever been in five years was $125 per share. We're about 25% lower than the five year low. So this could be a buy, a huge, huge buying opportunity for Meta. I don't have too many shares right now, only 6.6 .6 with an average cost of 112. I'll be looking to double to triple my position for swing trading and long-term trading. Make sure you message me on the close friends list to see what I'm doing for long-term and what I'm doing for swing trades where I'm only holding just a few weeks. Sometimes we even hold for a few months. Now I sold most of my options. As you can see, I still have one more out that we're up 107% on. Um, but if we continue to scroll down, we can see what's the biggest difference between something like Meta Platforms and Amazon. And yep, you guessed it, it's that PE ratio with Facebook pulling a 12.37 PE ratio, implying that it's a steal in the market if we compare it to its earnings. Okay, we have a market cap of 260 billion. So over the next 10 years, I think there is very real possibility that we can see a five to 10X growth from a company like Meta Platforms with only a $260 billion market cap and a PE ratio of 12.3. If we continue to scroll down, we can see that the EPS came in 
last year, about 12 months ago, closer to three to four dollars on their EPS. They just reported 1.64 EPS, which has basically been cut in half on their earnings. And if we pull up Meta's income statement, we can even see that it's reflected in their net earn in their net income. Okay, we can see the quarter over quarter of the growth has fallen 35% annually year over year we see that it's still on a good trajectory heading up we need a strong 2022 fiscal year okay because in 2021 they came in at 39 billion in net income so implying you know taking their net income their earnings and comparing that against the company's market cap they are a good deal, okay? Meta is a great deal right now. The balance sheet is also one of the best in the stock market with $165 billion in assets and only $41 billion in liabilities. So if there's absolutely, I'll tell you right now, there's no risk of Meta platforms going bankrupt. And if that is a fear of yours, then make sure you're tracking the balance sheet, keeping an eye out on that purple bar and making sure that it's not increasing and increasing and the same time also tracking the blue bar, which is assets, and making sure that it's not shrinking and shrieking, and of course, making sure that it's growing and growing. So as long as that's fine, I'm definitely loading up personally on Meta platforms at this huge drop-off that we had, $97 per share is a very attractive price for long-term holding. But let's dive into Amazon and pull up their net income and balance sheet so we can compare it against Meta. Okay, so now we have Amazon pulled up and you can see how interesting and different and how good, honestly, the income statement and balance sheet of something like Meta Platforms actually is. Okay, so here we see Amazon. We have the quarter, quarterlies pulled up. It's been negative on their net income the last two quarters, down significantly from quarters before. So obviously, that's why the market's acting like this, the net income. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you know that I harp on net income and the stock market specifically has been very strict about net income. The stock market really cares about net income right now. And if you track any stocks that are down 25%, 50%, 80%, it's typically because of their net income, their bottom line, okay? And their EPS, their earnings, all that. So if we pull up to the yearly, the annual, it still looks good for Amazon. You know, the 2021, 20, all the growth that they ha had the last five years has been tremendous. Their smallest year being 2019 with only 17% growth. However, we really need to see a strong 2022 because if we see and just by the quarterlies, if we add up some of the quarterlies, we can see that it's not looking good for Amazon on that fiscal year 2022. So that could be a good reason why the stock is now down 25%. If we scroll down to the balance sheet, look how different it looks from Meta Platforms. Okay, not saying that something like Amazon has risk of going bankrupt and something like Facebook doesn't, but just off the balance sheets alone, if you looked at those, I would say that Meta Platforms is a safer bet overall to store your money for long term. Here we can see the balance sheet of Amazon is $282 billion in liabilities and their assets are only $420 billion, giving you only a 67% debt to asset ratio and remember that orange number the debt to asset ratio of 67 we want to see personally i like to see that under 50 and closer to 25 or 30 okay a lot of companies don't have it under 50 so 25 to 30 is hard to see but there are unicorn companies out there with tremendous, tremendous balance sheets that the stock market is just sleeping on, unfortunately. And Meta Platforms, in my opinion, is one of those, okay? We can see that Amazon on their cash and cash equivalents does have $36 billion in cash and cash equivalents, but that is down from $42 billion. And needless to say, Amazon does have a lot of liabilities. And if we want to look at what analysts have to say specifically about Amazon, we see that they have around a 53% upside just in the 12 months with in, in the next 12 months with majority of the analysts agreeing on a $170 price target and some analysts have them as high as $200 price target in the next 12 months. This was just reiter reiterated yesterday from 
Eric from Goldman Sachs, a five-star analyst, he's saying buy Amazon with a $175 price target. So it is interesting that analysts are reiterating their price targets just this week and majority of analysts have a price target above 150 and closer to $175 per share for Amazon in the next 12 months. So yes, the dip of 25% on Amazon, well actually it was only 20%, excuse me, and now it's only 13% after hours. So pre-market tomorrow, it could only be down 10%, but that still could be a buying opportunity in my opinion. However, like those price targets we talked about in the beginning of the video, 75 to 85 is where I really wanna load the boat on Amazon, but I'm still taking this opportunity as a buying opportunity with the earnings miss. And we see somewhat of a similar story on the meta platforms, 49% upside with majority of analysts saying $146 per share in the next 12 months. And some analysts having as high as $200 price target. A lot of these analysts have reiterated this just yesterday because of their earnings. A lot of these are five-star analysts. Bank of America said $136 in the next 12 months. We have Mark Kelly, 185. Uh, Ronald with Citigroup at 168. Eric again with Goldman Sachs at 165. So there's a lot of analysts that are saying buy and they're just reiterating this just this week, just yesterday. And these are all five-star analysts. So we will definitely see meta platforms a lot more under scrutiny in the next few weeks. And analysts talking about them, analysts writing about them, headlines about meta, same thing with Amazon. Okay, these are two hot stocks right now that everyone's going to be talking about. So I wanted to do this video for you guys and I hope that you appreciate these videos. And if you do appreciate these videos, just smash a thumbs up. All I ask is subscribe. And if you're already subscribed on YouTube, hit that notification bell so you're alerted anytime I put out these new videos. Thank you guys for all the love and support. And if you want to join the close friends list and take it to the next step, you're trading and get into options trading as well. And not only do we do option trading, by the way, we do swing trading, swing, uh, swing trading, a couple weeks of holding, sometimes just a couple months of holding. It's very hands off. So a lot of my nine to five people like doing something like that. And we also do long-term trading where you're going to be holding for six months, 12 months, and I can help you build out your portfolio a professional way. This is going to be our 600th post. Right now it says 599, but when I upload this one, it's going to be a 600 post. So let's go crazy on that like button and the share button and the comment button because of that. All right, hit success number six if you want to join the close friends list. Read some of the success stories. There's been hundreds and hundreds of success by at this point by now earnings is a very risky way to trade yes but we also trade the macro market like s p 500 which is a lot less less risky way to trade and sometimes you got to risk it to get the biscuit that's why you see some of these students and my close friends list up thousands of dollars so i definitely want you to be on the next success story dm me to join and get full access today Thank you guys for all the love and support. Share this video with a friend if you think that they will find it helpful. I'll keep making these videos if you keep liking them. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, don't time the market, buy the market. Peace.